Hopefully they save that. Cheese and rice. I should be able to get it back. I haven't had a problem so far. If there is a problem, I'll figure something out. You stream, tell ya. All right. I try to go as fast as I can here. I don't want to go much longer than 3.30, especially if I already lost instruction with this. So we'll see how far we get. If not, we'll finish it next week. Not any big deal. Okay. And then let's wrap our corners. Be nice and gentle with it. Okay, front and back are done. Next part of this is going, this is where it gets really tricky. Um, What we're going to do is take the center piece here and we are going to cut a piece that is in black cardstock, mind you. That is nine and a quarter tall by um, let's do by five and a half wide. Okay. Nine and a half tall by, how do I say five and a half wide? Or nine and a quarter tall, sorry. Nine and a quarter tall. five and a half wide. Stay. And we're going to put this on our spine, but we're not going to adhere it down. And you'll see why in a minute. Grab your rings, your ring, uh, your, these. Grab the one that was in the kit. Your Tim Holtz ring binder. Okay. So you should have a ring binder and then two threads. And we're just going to do it how we have it currently. And we'll add the waterfalls for bulk in the in this stuff and then the pages. So, where's my ruler? Oh, here it is. One and five-eighths. One and five-eighths. Do not tell me that I just placed this perfectly. So you're going to, this is your piece of chipboard. And it's one and five-eighths from either side. Shut the front door. Do you want to clutter? Oh my gosh, I am like almost a genius. <laughs> almost, I mind you. Okay. So I gave you where you're placing it from your sides. 
your top is about two and a quarter, two and three sixteenths ish. Yeah. Okay, so just set it there. Take your pencil and color your holes in. That sounded so bad. Oh, I don't need that much lead. Okay. So now I know exactly where I'm going to be placing this little thing. Okay. And I'm just going to grab my big chompy thing. This is the crocodile too, FYI. For those that want to know, and then just punch a hole. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one little tiny piece of tape right between the holes. This is what's going to hold our paper on. We can't adhere this all the way down because we have to wrap the spine on the outside, but this needs to be put down so we can put our binder clips through and then adhere our outside so we don't have binder clips sticking out underneath the thing. Okay, so that's my whole purpose of this. So I'm just going to kind of, again, attempt to eyeball it. Wait, I'm going to put tape down. And this is just going to hold it in, in place. Okay. <laughs> oh, here it is. Oops, covered the hole. My bad. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is kind of take and score tape this ahead of time, this underside. So this is the front side. Your little fancy ring binder here is going to sit like this, okay, in the middle. But I need to make sure that I've got tape to adhere this down once all the wrapping's done, okay, because we're going to be putting this on and then wrapping with that red because it comes over the it comes over the spine to give it that finished look you see but it needs to go under the black okay so I'm going to go ahead and try and eyeball laying out some score tape on this so definitely a good three-eighths of an inch Where's that? Along the edges. Okay, and then I'm going to give it about a good, um, probably half inch. That might actually be an inch that I just gave it <laughs> or so. Okay, three quarters of an inch. I'll give it three quarters of an inch.
All right. So I'm just going to, I left this half inch there and I, that's why I left that. So I'm just going to remove that little half inch, this one that we put on the spine here. This is just a holder to keep everything where it needs to be. And so I'm just going to eyeball, you're looking at about three quarters of an inch on each side and about an eighth top to bottom. Okay. So essentially Wait a minute. Okay. Wait. Hold on. No. It might be giving itself a border punch. I don't think I cut this wide enough. Oops, inside. So we're gonna have about an eighth of a gap at least. Oh yeah, no, this is right. Okay, so it's gonna look like that on the inside. Phew. Holy moly, holy moly. I almost had a hot attack, just saying. because the red will already be wrapped. Fantastic. All right. Woo. Okay, so now that you can see your holes on the back, you need to punch those as well. So you can punch through the paper. just like so. So this is the outside. So let's go ahead and adhere this is where it gets so tricky. Here are our brads. And you know if you wanted to use some E6000 to glue it down to the paper you know go for it. Okay. Just gonna pull this tight. There we go. I'm going to take and just put some tape over this. Just gonna put those a little. There we go. And just tape down the brads. Just do some score tape. All right. So that's all said and done. Grab your little strap that came with the kit. My a little bit. Here we go. Okay. So you should have received one of these. It's just this off cream leather strap. Now in the one that I built, because I had this leather here and this is what we could get for the kits. So this is what I found, but um, it's just a little bit, the width isn't as far and the length isn't as far, but what we're going to do is make sure, and we can probably just do one eyelet instead of two, just because the width is, is about half inch, quarter inch at least, less in width. So we could probably just do one eyelet on either side of it. But first you need to ink it. And when I inked it, this is what it ended up looking like. I absolutely love it. It's got that really like um, worn leather baseball 
kind of vibe going on. Absolutely love it. You can ink the underside if you like. They're not really going to see it. But when you when we put this on, you're going to have it bubbled to where it leaves a little bit to where you can slide your hand underneath it like this. Oops. You see that? So I can get my hand underneath it just fine and pull it right out of the back of the dugout. Okay. So you're just going to take your, and I would find a scratch piece of paper. Here's one. Let's use that. And I just used my walnut stain and just rubbed it on just like this and I would go lighter and darker as I went I mean, you can do the variations if you want it really dark I mean it's completely up to you push a little harder and just rub it on like so. Okay. What time is it? Gosh, it's already 3.30. Okay. I think that we will stop here with this. Um, the next few steps are really important and I need to be able to focus and not rush. So we're going to ink this and then, you know, let this dry. I would definitely ink this and then just let it dry over the next few days. Next week we'll just, it'll be a cinch to just put the rest on. It's a cinch, but definitely there's a process. So we'll just ink this, but next week will be our final day for this. Get those pages in and the waterfalls. The waterfalls and getting the pages in and some of them decorated is what's important. Okay, so you can tell the difference between my two straps. One's lighter, one's darker, but it's totally up to you on how dark or not you want to make this. It's completely up to you. But It smells like leather. Too. Well, it is leather. They're leather straps. So there's that. This next process is going to take at least a half hour and I'm kind of tired. So, um, is there any questions? I think we'll wait here. We've got all of this ready to go and our front and back pages are good. All we're going to be doing is wrapping the spine. Okay but there's a, a little bit of a process. So I just want to make sure that it gets done correctly. So we're going to stop there for today because I'm kind of out of it, slightly out of it. And we'll pick up next week. I'm going to, sh is Barry here? I'm going to show the thingy. Let me stop the recording.